Hey guys, Darth Dork here, back with part six, I think. I think it's part six of our Need for Speed Payback playthrough. So last time, we finished our work in the main city? I mean, like, we like not like finished our main work. That sounds like very, f f you know, f final-like, finale-like. But uh, we finished m more work in the main city. Ugh, sorry, I was trying to open my juice. Anyway, and... Uh, and we got very, very wanted. They, the enemy, the they use this weapon called a sky hammer or something, which basically it like nukes the electronics of a car, so it basically kills your car. So we barely escaped that, and now we're kind of hiding out in the desert because we, our heat is too high in the city. So now we have several more crews to take out, and we did start work on the uh, race crew um, of the three different ones. We have a new, yeah. So we started on the race crew. We were working on our bug, our Volkswagen bug. Uh, our VW bug and it now is it's now the fastest car we own funnily enough at least in most respects level wise level wise It is the highest car we own now So it's feeling pretty spicy not gonna lie That feels pretty spicy now our bug otherwise. I mean level wise. It is the highest one faster than even our charger and um, And I do and I have been thoroughly enjoying it, but that's not the only thing we have we have a new uh, off-road group to go after um we'll have to our our off-road vehicle which is our chevy bel air will have to be leveled up before we're able to do that which isn't that hard because the bel air currently is using uh a catch-up pack a and i believe they were all they were all stock parts so it's not specialized in pretty much anything but we'll have so it'll have to be up good before we're able to do that there is a new speed cross uh speed cross series and so we can do that as well um, our next actual road race is right here, but we need to uh, improve our bug before we're able to do that. And then lastly, uh, hiding over here is a new drift uh, new drift group, and our best drift car will need to be upgraded before we were able to do that. And then we also got access to uh, the new courier mission, which is like Jess, basically, uh, and we got a new access to that. Now, our big old, big old monster, I mean, I think our, our charger is our fastest runner vehicle. Um, so we'll need to upgrade our C10, uh, at least marginally, before we're able to do that. So lots of vehicles, lots of things that need upgraded. And, uh, and then there's a new mission there. But that's not a new one. That's the one we already did. So, you know, lots of things going on, basically. Lots of goodness going on. So uh, let's see. So obviously we need to upgrade our car before we are able to do the next race thing. So maybe that's what matters. Maybe we should run over to a, another yeah maybe we should head over here although i'm thinking let's go ahead and head over here and i think somewhere over here there's a gas station so let's go ahead and head over here see if we can find the gas station and then we'll up we'll go up the road from there towards the uh tune-up shop so maybe that maybe that'll be the plan all right we are here pulling up right now okay so i did not find the gas station in case you're wondering uh if it, if yeah, it's not a right off the interstate like I was mentally thinking might be true, so I don't know. Anyway, so what do we have equipped right now? Oh, we actually currently have a stock head, which, funnily enough, this head is the same thing, just marginally better. So if there was any head we could get that's better, there we go. That's pretty spicy. This is just a pure improvement, although technically this one is actually better. Yeah, this one is actually better, funnily enough, so maybe we'll do that. Nice. It's funny that we're using stock anything, just because it's, it's like, not bad. All right, an ECU, if we had a better option, would not be terrible. Oh, we should roll for my ECU. Let's go! Let's roll for it. Anything good. And... Next tech. Level 6. That sucks. It's so much worse. Alright. Well, that was neat. So, um... Yeah, the ECU. If there's anything better, uh, not at the hit, not at the cost of NOS. I don't want to take NOS damage for that. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like otherwise nothing else too spicy. Our car did get a little bit better though. We're at 235 now, so it did improve. Whoops. Anyway, it did improve, but alas. Yeah, I think otherwise, not too much going on. There's a few things that are pretty good, like that, but, like, 
and it does increase some things, which is good, but it takes a hit to Nos, and I don't really want to sacrifice our Nos if I can help it. Taking a hit to our la airtime and landing is, fi is fine, because that's not what this car's for. Oh, there we go. This, this one's a pure increase. And we don't lose anything. We just we get a giant bonus to uh, to Nos, basically. And what was that for? That's a gearbox. Oh, it's because this is the same thing. This is just what we have, but it but it adds a Nos bonus, basically. So might as well do that. It's a big bonus to Nos for for free, basically. Which makes so much sense. Otherwise, we're sitting at two thirty-five right now. I do know one thing, though. We can uh, get rid of some of these excess items. Alright, we could roll for a new ECU. I'd be okay with some getting some better brakes, though. I'll tell you that. Our brake power's just awful. Well... Well, I mean, it's pretty good. Like, the bonuses it gives me are, are nice. It is at the cost of, of NOS, though. That's fairly substantial. It's like maybe a fourth, maybe? A, four, a quarter of our NOS goes away. But... Oh, plus it gets rid of our... So that's the reason why is because it gets rid of our NOS bonus. Because of the outlaw. I think we have three outlaw parts with that, with that ECU on. A bonus to our braking would be good because my braking is the garbage. Our airtime and landing is really good, even though it, even though it does not have to be in this car. But you still get a bonus to like zero to sixty, our quarter mile, even a little bit of a bonus to our top speed and horsepower. So I'm tempted to do it, and then like maybe yeah, I think we'll do it. I think it's worth doing, and then maybe we can try and salvage our outlaw bonus with something else possibly. Like maybe at this point our exhaust is our lowest thing. Yeah, this is this block is better in some ways, but it's another hit to Nos, which is not great. Otherwise, the only other the only the only other one is this, and which is not not great. Otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, this one's actually better. This gives us back our Nos, but gets a hit to airtime and landing, which is actually fine. So that that turbo is actually really good. And what are we using for a turbo? Oh, it's another outlaw. Well, we've already forsaken our bonus, so that's not that bad. So I think it's worth doing at this point. There we go. Oh, dang it. I meant to uh, salvage that other part. Alright. Anyway. Better. Yeah, there we go. That gets us to 240. And I, and we balanced out our NOS again. Our, you know, back to where, where it was, which is good. So... Yeah, we only have one part now. There's no... We have, like, one part from every single thing now. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, but... I think it was still worth it. It's still worth it. Alright, at this point, our exhaust is the lowest thing. So, maybe we'll roll for an exhaust and we'll just see. Outlaw. That could be good. Outlaw acceleration. That could also be good. Ooh, air, a hit to airtime and landing, which is fine. And band a bonus to a quarter mile, zero to sixty, our and our tall horsepower and top speed. Super worth it. Yeah, that was great. That was best case scenario right there. That gets us to two outlaw pieces now, which is also great. Nice. Well that was worth it. That gets us to two forty seven in this car. Boy, even popping in reverse you can feel it. Anyway, but that's good and the point is it's good enough to do this. So to the next actual race, shall we? Alrighty, we are coasting up right now. This car is noticeably faster, which feels good. Feels good, man. So yeah, that feels pretty good, man. It's very, very fast. Achieve a jump distance. That feels doable. Like, they wouldn't say achieve a jump distance if there's no jump, so I'm gonna say it's worth it. Glad to see you back, muchacho. You ready to race? Always. I don't know, you ready to lose? Let's do this. There's no reason to do this. Like, it'll come up later, but I'm going to do it anyway. Watch out! Ah, uh, <laughs> almost. So, yeah, we'll, we'll find another one. Oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe right up here. Yo. We max, we're max speed right there, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. I hit that full speed. I was maxed out. I'm not sure this thing, this bug will do that jump. 
Because I was full speed right there. That's as fast as this thing goes. Maybe maybe that other ramp is steeper? I don't know, man. We, we might actually fail this one. Unless we can find a bigger jump. But I, I hit that at full speed. Well, I think we were maxed out at like 167. And it just wouldn't do it. So that's not good. We're probably going to fail this one. Tree. I like how it respawns me, even though, like, I was fine. They're like, they're like, eh, head cannon, you died. You get it. Like, okay, I guess I died. Guess that tree was tougher than my car. Started to pull away once again. It's a very skinny road, lots of traffic. I'm doing my best. Can you imagine doing a, tur a turn at 110 miles an hour? A little hard to picture. I would not want to, I can tell you that. Definitely gonna fail that one. I hit that jump full speed. It just we just it's just not powerful enough. So we failed our side bet. Crushed it. Yeah, because I was maxed out. I was doing 167. Yeah, 114 was as close as I got. And we lost 2,000 bucks. That sucks. That sucks. We're still up 17,000 dollars, so it's fine. But yeah, not doing those side bets, man. That's that's the first time I think we failed one that we actually took. Eleven. Uh, well, well, I like the top speed bonus because our top speed and horsepower in this car is not great. However, the hit to zero to sixty our quarter mile and the hit to what it does, what it does do to us, I don't like. A loss to Nos, which I don't love, and a, a hit to our zero to sixty in our quarter mile, which I also don't love. It would give us plus four more on our top speed. And it would give us more horsepower. Plus 7 on the horsepower. That would also increase our level to 253. Which is also tempting. Yeah, I'm going to do it. This car is pretty zippy on its own. I think it's worth it. We, I mean, this car really needs to, uh, love to its top speed. So. Also, base shipment. Gaia, what happened? Why are you getting involved in all that shady crap again? You don't get how close the house came to taking everything from us. I was in jail, man. Jane, they even own the cops. That doesn't scare us. I know you, man. You just need an excuse to drop this game. I'm giving you one. Maybe back then, but not this time. You keep saying that, but I don't see you in no hurry to stop writing with us. Sucks. Next race is at the dam. I know I'll see you there. All right. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and look around. 260 is what, is what we need for this next one. So, yeah, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something. All right. Let me go ahead and head to the next tune-up shop, and we'll see if we can get lucky. Okay. We are here. Just, uh... 
Alright, so... Let's see. Uh, this would take us a hit to... Wow. That's quite the increase, though, to like, everything else. I realize it's another hit to Nos and Airtime. But, crap, though. Look at the massive increase to everything else. That's really good. I'm, I'm tempted to do that. We might end up doing that one. This one is an increase with no losses on anything, so that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, taking that one for sure. That one is still tempting. Any other increases? Just flat increases? Um, wow. Holy bonus to NOS, Batman. I think this one's probably worth doing, to be honest with you. Because, like, it's a more increase to breaking, which is good. But it even increases all the top four stats, which is also good. I think that one's worth doing. Alright, it looks like they re replaced them with stock items, so... Yeah. Okay. That was the best, just flat increase. Alright, uh, trade. Trade. Alright, our gearbox, now our lowest thing. Although, our, uh, getting a better heads would be better, would be okay. If I could get a better head. Like, a head, a head with a bonus, I guess is what I'm after. A bonus to top speed would be good. A bonus to NOS wouldn't be terrible. Oh, if only it was an outlaw. Ooh. Wow. That is mad. Those are crazy good heads. Oh my god. Plus it gives, yeah, it's a bonus to carbon, which is why. Which is pretty funny, but super worth it, obviously. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Definitely worth it. Okay, yeah, that's better. So now, let's see, maybe... Turbo? No, actually, our gearbox is still lower. So let's go ahead and get another gearbox. See if we get lucky. Oh, next tech jump? That sucks. Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Alright. Well, that's still worth it. Super worth it. Wow, our car is very fast now. I f like you can feel it immediately. Anyway, that gets us more than good enough to hit this, so let's go. Alright, we are here. I hit, an I hit a few cars on the way in. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. We survived. Uh, no thanks. After the last side bet, no thanks. I'm done with you, crew. I beat them, you race me. Mono a mono. You gonna drive? Or just sit there talking? Be surprised how fast this little bug is. I would encourage you all not to underestimate me. Now hold on to it. You see how like you, did you did you guys see the pull? Like it pull itself towards like Black Mamba and stuff? Like this car has some serious ump. It is now by a landslide the fastest vehicle I own. Top speed wise, maybe not, but even our top speed is better than it was. Not enough to relax yet, but enough that we're doing really good. Watch out for those canyons, man. Watch out for those rocks. Fine. 
Oh yeah, it's so good, dude. It's so fast. Don't know why I did that. That was dumb. There's one guy that's not letting me go easily, though. He's there, always watching. Have to do some serious speaking. I'll hit something really fast to actually catch me, though. Gotta stay ahead. I mean, you're not wrong there, Ty. Wow. 171, dude. I don't know how fast this thing goes total, but that must be close. Oh, so fast, dude. So fast. And everybody else is officially in a different zip code, which feels good. Also, we're very, very far from where we started this race. <laughs> I wonder how high level I'll have to be to actually fight the boss, though. That's the real question. I wonder if I, my car will be fast enough for it. That be the real question. Just un... Yeah, there we go. Four minutes. Oh, just, just about even. That feels pretty good. And the money's good too. Oh, sorry. I I'm drinking a uh, straight cranberry juice, so kind of it's a lot to swallow right away. Anyway, turbo outlaw turbo too. Wow. I think we take what we lose one on the on the top speed. Super worth it. Massive increases across the board. Otherwise, so super worth it. All right. The other question is, do you think we get a, a derelict for beating this guy? Race me. No way. Oh, you scared? Big bad guy. Oh, you can't even take on Lil Tyler Morgan. I know what you're trying to do, man, but the house has everything on lock. The outlaws rush is just for show now. Then I'll put on one hell of a show. Silver Rock doesn't belong to the house. It belongs to us. You really believe that, don't you? You bet your ass we do. You're gonna get yourself killed, hermanito. Fine. We race. But we're taking the scenic route. I'll give you a view to remember when you're stuck in a jail cell. All right. Well, Slice is worried about the all the heat. 280. Our car needs to be a lot faster, dude. I mean, not like a lot. Like 280 is not that. It's not undoable. But the fact is, we do need to uh, soup up the old wheels before I'm able to do it. So let's go ahead and run to the nearest tune-up shop. See if we can get us over 280 so we can actually fight this guy. Okay, we are here. There is a bait crate nearby, by the way. But we're really here for the tune-up shop, so. Because I'm a funny guy, we're gonna we're gonna park too. Ugh, it's really hard. This car is very sensitive. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. There we go. Beautiful parking job, just like in real life. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, ignoring my, for some reason, my desire to park. Ooh, that's a good one. Increase to everything across the board. It gives me a bonus to Outlaw, which is great. And we do take a tiny hit to our quarter mile and our top, and our 0 to 60. But only by le literally less, not even double digits. It's 0, 0.0, insert number here. Like 0 0.07 and 0 0.03. So we're not even going to really feel it. But it does give us a massive increase across the board. And it'll get us to 283. So, super worth it. That's a that's a hard sell for that's not gonna be that hard to sell for me, man. All right, I'm just gonna sell these extra parts. Uh, our ECU, I mean, kinda, but I kind of like the three and three to be honest, like giving us just as good bonuses. So the point is that'll give us enough where we can uh, that gets us above 280. You know what I mean? Which is really what we need. So 
Anything across anything else? Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, beautiful. All right, that that'll do it. So now let's go ahead and go. Uh, let, let's go get him, man. All righty. Rolling up right now. All right, let's do it one on one. I don't imagine it'll be easy, but we can do it. Yeah, no, no way, dude. Anyone who's seen me drive know that there's no way I could do that. Just like old times, huh? Almost makes you miss some of the stuff we got up to, huh? <laughs> Man, some of the stuff we did. God, we were such punks. Ah, uh, old times. Just like old times. My bug is faster than your Porsche. <laughs> Ooh, playing dirty, though. My bug is faster than his Porsche, though. <laughs> Which feels really funny. <laughs> Okay, catch this. It's like 60s Volkswagen. Boy, 176, dude, on this thing. Oop, 77. We're still building, too. We might be maxed out. Like 178 and a bug is pretty is pretty insane. Come on, Gallo. Don't make it too easy. Gallete, stupido. Let's say. I know enough Spanish to know what to know what that is. Also, we just unlocked spoilers, by the way. That feels good. That's the thing. I think it's because we had to do 175 for three seconds solid. And we did. In our bug, funnily enough. But, yeah. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to go check spoilers for our cars. That'll be exciting. Well, still taking those turns hard, I see. And remember wrecking your dad's Camaro on turns like that in the barrio? Ha <laughs> I still remember you taking the blame for that. I was the only one that could get away with stuff like that. Ah, yes, old times. Also, wrecking the Camaro, though. That's really sad. That poor Camaro. Wow, this bug is very fast. <laughs> oh, you still got to Oops. move, little guy. Oop. And that nickname. Where did it even come from, anyway? Yeah, remember when Rad brought back that new Chevy? You were too short to get your foot on the gas pedal. It was adorable, little Ty. Reach in and reach in. Okay, okay, I got it. Oh, see, see that civilian car that sent me careening into the rocks? And he still didn't catch me. And you've got Where the heck is he, man? I mean, plus I have 95 gallons of NOS in this car, so I can just use NOS forever. Which got me back to 130 right immediately. Yo, is Jess still riding with you guys? Tough as ever, what? Yeah, I was just thinking about the time she flat out decked me. Remember that? Probably shouldn't have tried to pick her up then, huh? Wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. She's a tough gal. Hey, where'd you go? Right here, hombre. Don't say right here like you're actually right here. He's like, it's nowhere in sight, dude. Look at that beautiful drift, man. He is, like, nowhere in sight. <laughs> I got this. Oh, we're flying, man. Because I've never seen a bug this fast. Can't wait to get this car to, like, 399, man. Max it out. That's gonna that'd be crazy. This bug will do like 250 miles an hour. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We are cruising though. Hopefully these roads are nice and wide. It makes it easier to not hit, like not run other cars off the road. You still famous for those last second wins? No, 
Another beautiful drift back there, by the way. Another beautiful drift. Why can't I drift that good when I'm doing drift races? What's up with that? picture like they just cruising on the interstate some first, Volkswagen you bug like old times, huh, man? passes you like a bullet like drifting in the other lane like it just goes like this like you know 60s Volkswagen bug just goes drifting past you at like 170 miles an hour can you even imagine like how would you even react hell yeah yeah dude he was Still can't beat me guy -o. I want to know how far back was he? Like, was he two minutes behind? How back? How far back was he? Feels pretty good. Approaching level 19 respect too, or reputation, or whatever it's called. Let's say, pretty sure that's garbage. All right. Hey, silver six, league defeated. New car, some BMW, who cares? Anything good? Oh, there you go. Mustang, hell yeah. Ooh, another good car. The Evo. No, oh, Mitsubishi Evo, that's a classic. Porsche Carrera, which is okay, I guess. Also, bait crate. Damn, I haven't raced like that in a long time. Come on, just say it. You think I can do it, don't you? If you're really gonna do this, I need you at your best. We need you at your best. Y'all bring out the best in me. Some people are rooting for you, Tyler. Some people think you'll get the city back. Are you some people? <laughs> might be. Might not be. See you later, little Ty. Later, bro. You take it easy, my dude. Tyler. Morgan. I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? I... I did a few things for the house. It was a mistake. I... Look, Katrina, you should have known better. I know. I'm gonna make it up to you. Te lo juro. When the time comes, I'll have your back, Morgan. I promise. Hell yeah. She called to apologize. That's nice. She feels bad. She should. Okay. Also, we're like a block from my uh, from my house. Imagine that. Anywho, okay, quick park. So, uh, let's see. Options: We could go ahead and do the next supercross, which is not a bad idea. Uh, we could do the off road, which not a terrible idea. There's drift, which mentally is a terrible idea because I don't like the, I don't like drifting. <laughs> That's no secret. But also. Uh, there's this one, the new Runners, which is tempting, but I'm thinking maybe let's go ahead and go do this Supercross, because it's right here, and that would make total sense. Also, there's a gas station right there. Anywho, so let's go ahead and do at least one Supercross, and then maybe we'll be switching gears here. But I noticed we didn't get a derelict, so, I mean, I don't know, I didn't know how many derelicts there are, so it's like, yeah. So yeah, we did not get a new derelict, which is actually okay, because I was just thinking, like, but what would I do with it? <laughs> you know? And th th that's what I was thinking. I'm like, what will I do with another do with another car? <laughs> you know? Because, like, you know, what it comes down to is another car means more work, right? Because that's just how that works. I mean, that means we'll need new cards, that means more money, more grinding. You know what I mean? Like, it just means more work. That's, how, that's just the nature of the beast. So, and if I already like what I have, like, I mean, the car itself would have to be very, very pretty to get me to, like, put the work in to make it good. Because I already we already have more cars than I'm actually going to use for these different events and stuff. So, maybe a new drift car, if it was cool enough. So, I'm really okay, you know? Godspeed races, this is your curator. Hello. And you're listening to the voice of the streets. Tyler hasn't been seen downtown much lately, but that's because he's been ripping it up in the circuits in the north. Exact locale, Silver Canyon. The word, our friend Ty has taken down Gaio in the Silver Six, bringing him one step closer to entering the outlaw's rush. But that's not all. Rumor 
rumor has it that Tyler and Guile go way back to the barrio, and their little reunion led to a change of heart for Guile. Tyler might even have a new ally in his fight against the house. Hell Did yeah. This, the streets say, good job, little guy. Oh god, no. Why? <laughs> Lil Tyler? <laughs> Lil Tyler? <laughs> Whoa, Ty. I'll never let you live that one down. God damn it. That's so worth it, though. If anybody could get away with calling me Lil Ty, it's freaking the curator, dude. She can call me whatever she wants. And she should just enjoy it, dude. She said your name. She knows your name. <laughs> Simping super hard for the curator. No thanks. I don't even care what it is. I'm doing fine financially. The Fortune Valley Speed Cross series are officially underway with course number one, the Canyons. This one's a special treat for fans of off road. Ah, off roads are okay. I don't hate them. They're just okay. But, you know. I don't. I mean, it's very rattly. It's like you like rattle and bounce around a lot, and I feel like you're not making real right. progress, you know? Time to show those speed it's, again, it's just an opinion. It's just an opinion. It's fine. I mean, like, again, we're only talking about in the game here. Like, you know. We're only talking about in game here. In real life, I have no problem with off road, obviously, you know? Like, in game, my opinions differ than what I really think in real life. My opinions about the cars, that's pretty much the same. Like, like I would still take it like American muscle over anything European or Asian. Um, I don't like Euro European cars in general. Like, I, I, like, some of them are, you know, there's different ones that are okay. In general, I favor, you know, like Fords or whatever. Like, I mean, like, I like a lot of, I like more modern. I mean, I don't have a crazy love of modern cars in general. I prefer classic cars over anything. Um, I like American cars more. I There are some Asian cars which are really, really good, like from Asia, obviously. Um, I don't love European cars. I don't, and I don't know, and a lot of, and a lot of Asian cars too, I'm not crazy about. Like, I don't know. So it's like, my, my opinions on cars are very similar, are, are pretty much accurate, but my opinions on like off-road racing, obviously we're only talking about the game here. Just, I feel like I felt the need, the compulsory need to explain that. Anyway. Wow, that was a long way. <laughs> Alright, that was neat. Popped the handbrake and he just didn't do anything, he just ran into the wall. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Back to reality. Oh, there goes something or other up. I don't know the words of this song. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, that wasn't the lyric. It was I think that was there goes real or there goes sanity. Oops, back to reality. I think it was something like that. It's n nothing to do with gravity, I don't think. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm like turn super white and I cannot rap, nor would I ever try, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, alright? You see how close the back end of my thing got to the to the to the wall there. They'll write stories about this trip. Excuse me. Also, my, my hatch is broken. Did anyone else notice this? <laughs> that was really great, dude. I freaking slayed that one. Yeah, I did triple. <laughs> I was approaching quadruple. I also beat my rival. Some guy I don't know, you know? Yay! Now I'm number 12. That was, that was gorgeous is what that was. hey -o. New speed cross available. Well, that was good. Kind of surprised they don't make me buy a speed cross car. Also, what the hell am I driving? Oh, it's my Bel Air. It's my Bel Air. I'm like, <laughs> like, why am I in my Bel Air? Anyway. Okay. I mean, I'm okay, I'm okay with driving the Bel Air, but I'll have to upgrade it before I can actually do this. By quite a lot. But considering when we're right here, maybe we'll go ahead and do the next speed cross. Is it this one? Or we like, right. The second canyon speed cross. Oh, okay. Well, sure, man. Let's just jump into it. It's like, what car am I in? No thanks. I don't even care. Best of luck to our street racers out there repping Fortune Valley. Let's show them we like to get dirty, boys and girls. Alright, easy. I can only get so hard. Good job on the first canyon run, Mac. Thanks. Wonder how Barracuda's doing. He took a buy-in from his sponsors. He goes straight to the end of the series. Can you blame him? It's free. I don't need no stinking buy-in. Let's do this. I even missed the chip, dude. That was horrible. Alright, next lap. We'll do better, I swear. I also missed that poker chip at about Mach 2, so that feels, that feels good. So, you know, that feels good. that one. It's really lucky there's an invisible wall there. There's a lot of dead people almost just then. Yeah, I 
hit that jump a lot straighter too. Ah, oh, once again missed the chip. I was like right there, man. Right, that one, there was no way to hit it. I was fishtailing, so I don't feel I don't feel guilty about that one. Rift, piece of shit. I was just holding left, just waiting for it to like do anything, and it just was not happening. avoided the wall that time. And that time. Oh, that was surprising. What the, what the heck happened back there? Yeah, we nailed it. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> yeah, we crushed that one. Nice. Yay, we get it. I got money, I got reputation. Yay! New speed cross available. Very nice. Alright. Also. So, McAllister. I hear you're doing well so far. That's great. You don't sound too happy about it. Uh-huh. Listen, Mac. We're all glad you're doing well. But don't push your luck, alright? You wouldn't want the pros to push back. If you know what I mean. Yeah, okay, I hear you, big guy. You go, big guy. Alright, I'm thinking maybe off-road series now, but let's go ahead and head to a tune-up shop first. So I think that'll be the plan. Alrighty. Pulling up right now. Let's go ahead and see what we got. So, pretty much anything on this car is undoubtedly going to be an improvement. So, let's just start spinning. We'll just go for heads. Heads. Which again, we only have one roll. So it's like, we'll just roll for the first one and then we'll just probably buy the rest of them. Americana. Acceleration. That's great. I mean, it's a, another six, which is less than great. But it's still an improvement. So we'll take it. Alright. Anyway. Uh, you looks like you can't... You can sell this item, though. For a tiny bit of money. Anyway. Alright. So we need a new block. I mean, we really could use a lot, to be honest. A new exhaust, which is something else we need. It's pretty good. Another straight increase, which is good. Ooh, this ECU is better, too. Plus, we get to start an Americana bonus. Tempting. Okay. <clears throat> we do need a new block of some kind. That would give us an Americana bonus, which would be pretty fat. Very nice. All right. Turbo... Uh, let's see. Not seeing any kind of turbo. But we do need an exhaust, so let's go ahead and go with that. Oh, gearbox. I think that was something else we needed. Yes, it is. What else? Last thing we need, turbo. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, four minutes... Yeah, let's look it's four minutes until it upgrades. However, even that will give us enough. This this will give us enough for us to be able to compete. So that's not the, the worst thing. One thing we could do, however, really quick, is we could uh, get rid of our doubles here. Oh, no, okay, and that's still the same one. There we go. That'll give us a tiny bit of money. Anyway, but at least now we can get into this off-road event. All right, we are here in my super pretty car. Let's do it. They say it's a man's world. I say shove it. 
Survive a day in the desert with us if you think you're so tough. We are the Free Amber Militia. Alright, well. Tone down the sexism, lady. Calm the frick down. You're not being oppressed. Relax. Cool truck, though. Been a while since someone had the guts to approach my crew. You must not have heard about me, then. My guts are infamous. My pancreas is the toast of Paris. Oh, I heard about you. That flashy showman. Sorry, darling. No way you can handle this crew. We go hard. We got scars. Name's Faith. You want a gun for me? Then survive our gauntlet. First up is the river run. I mean, I like your truck, but look at my car, though. You know? I don't know how fast this car goes. No thanks. I don't need the risk. No thanks. Anyway, look at my car, though. Great day for racing, girl. Taking bets on how long this showman will last. We're having a classic, man. It's showtime. It takes time. Perfection takes time, y'all. Don't worry about it. You better not watch out on the first jump, showman. Well, <laughs> oh, we're fighting dirty. Get out of my way, Lizzie. Whoa, squirrely. Here. Boy, she's fast though. All memes aside. Come here. Okay, don't choke now, Mac. Yeah, Mac. Ow. God, dude, they're they're so fast. Back here. Goodness gracious. That was very heated. Good lord, that was close, dude. Those guys are fast. Hmm. Well, you're not a complete waste of our time. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it, but good lord, dude, that was tight. Those good they are fast. They are not fooling around. My car needs love. A 10. That could be good. Less NOS. Increases to everything else. Well, it gets rid of my Americana bonus is the reason I lose NOS. It's probably worth it. Worth it. Hey, one of my girls found an abandoned motocross circuit. They're heading there now. You better show. The motocross tracking cars? Why the hell not? It'll be fun. Wow, this is a jump. Anywho, all right. Well, you heard the lady. Let's go. Okay, we are here. Uh, no thanks. I don't even care what the money is. I'm okay with just what I win from what I get from winning. Thanks. Touch the sun for me on these jumps, girls. 
And Mac. Said you can't even get half their vertical on these jumps. I guess we'll see. Let's go, let's go. There was some risk involved because I was on the outside of that, so obviously I scraped the rocks on the way past, but it's fine. Hey, I got the, I got the chip that time. It's filthy though. That's the problem with driving all this off road, man. My beautiful turquoise car gets all dirty. First lap down. Jump on. There we go. Nice and shallow. Uh, on that drift that time, not quite so sharp. far left and obviously it worked out a lot better oh dear doing great Mac attack all right calm down Mac calm down Mac we're doing pretty good but oh look I'm about to I'm, I'm about to lap some of these people so we're doing pretty good, but like, never put your guard down, okay? Keep it up, back attack. Get lapped, idiot. <laughs> Almost four of them. <laughs> Aces! What a rush! Yeah, that that first race though, they were like they were like way tougher. It felt like on that one they were easy. I was going in kind of nervous because I was like, oh man, you know they're probably gonna be pretty tough. But yeah, not really, not really. Seven, that's gross. Um, better airtime and landing, which is actually good. It's actually that's actually not terrible in this car. Mild increases to other things. Better top speed would be okay. That's a tiny hit to our quarter mile and our 0 to 60, but bonuses to, uh, to the other stuff isn't that bad. That's probably worth it. Yay! Whew. Wasn't expecting that much bite from someone who got chased out of Silver Rock. It was such a shame. We're looking forward to someone knocking the house down a peg. <laughs> Not a fan of the house? They're quinoa eating type A assholes who choke freedom with every breath they take. I'll take that as a no. Smart boy. Next challenge. One of my girls wiped out on a massive jump near Silver Casino. So we all gotta try it now. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. My car is filthy, dude. That's the problem with all this dirt racing. 
This car is too beautiful to get so dirty. Our car is good enough to do this, though. Level-wise. So I'm tempted to give it a shot. Let's see. Is this kind of on the way? I mean, on the way is a stretch, but... It wouldn't be the worst thing trying to get there. Alright. Okay. We're here. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. Let's increase the uh, decrease the brake power, which I'm actually okay with, because our brake power doesn't need be, need doesn't need to be that crazy. So I'm okay with that gearbox. I'm trying to see if there's anything better. That'll give us the 128. That'll give us the 130. Let's give us a bigger boost. So it's let's see, 2.83, 1080, 2.83. So this one is actually better. And then a plus 10 and plus one. Plus 19, plus 2. Yeah, so this one is just better uh, than that other gearbox. I'm thinking that's worth it. Feels like a hard victory to me. This one would give us a next tech bonus, which would give us massive increases uh, kind of across the board other than airtime and landing. But the issue is this is an off-road vehicle, so that's kind of like a, a, a point of this. Although this gearbox is a pure increase of every kind, so that makes sense. Any other straight increases? Uh, that's a straight increase. This one is too. This one's better. Alright. Uh, let's see. Any other pure increases? This one's a pure increase. Any other pure increases? Negatory, however. We can go ahead and get rid of all these other ones. Okay. There we go. Like, like it gets rid of all those. We can use our spins for maybe different cars, depending on what we have. But I'm feeling pretty good with this. This gets our car to 244. So that's a massive increase for this. So to the next one. While we're here, though, uh, I actually teleported to our garage, but we unlocked spoilers, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be against looking at spoilers for our cars. So that's actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. So we're gonna take a quick little detour and look at spoilers. I don't know if this car needs a spoiler, but we could look if it added to it. Wow, that is there's a lot going on with that spoiler. Oh my god. Anyway, that one's a little more subtle, at least. I mean, I don't know if it, I don't know if this car, I don't know if this car needs a spoiler. Like, like that, there's a, a lot going on with that car. Anyway, like this one is, like this one is a more in tune a little bit, a little bit more. Like even like this one, like it feels like it's a modern thing on the back of an old car. Like even this one, like the fins, I feel better about. But in general, I don't think this car, this car needs a spoiler of any kind, to be honest with you. To be honest with you. Like, like, that's the same problem with having, like, a diffuser. Like, it, it just doesn't feel like it's in character for the car. You know, this car feels like a lot of its selling point is the fact that it's a classic car. You know? So it makes sense not to really touch the front with this one. You know, not not to really touch too much of this one. Now, some of other of our cars having a, uh, like with this one, like, having a spoiler on our drag, on our little drag Mustang makes a lot more sense. Like, maybe. Like, I mean, it might. Like, but again, it's a drag car. So it, uh, this one, if there's any one of them needed a spoiler, it would be, like, something like this. These are big old spoilers, though. Darn. After it has, like, a, uh, like a wheelie bar and stuff in the back, I think it'll help sell it. Let's see. I kind of like... I think it's that one. Yeah, I think it was that one. It's kind of spicy. It is blacked out, though, which is kind of, you know, a little bit again. So I like, kind of like that. Because if we're going to, if we're going to go the spoiler route, it makes sense to kind of commit. There's the exhaust, but I think I've already done the exhaust. And I think I liked what I had on there. I don't know if we need a splitter in the front. I don't know. Having like one like there is kind of nice. Nice. Okay, another thing. I kind of want to make our window tint a little darker. Windows. 
Blacked out, please. That's better. Ooh, that's sexy, dude. I like that. Okay. Anyway. Oops, that's not it. One more. Okay. Now, uh, there's the Bel Air. The Charger. We could, we could look at the spoilers for the Charger, but I don't know if it's going to need them. Not all of them look better with the, with the spoiler. Okay, like this, this one actually kind of adds to it, I feel like. And again, we could put a diffuser on the back. I do kind of like this one, to be honest with you. A lot of my cars have this, but it does look really good, though. It makes it look big and mean, which I really like. I don't like that one. Make it a little bit more big and aggressive. Then already that one on our front end already has a splitter. Nothing available for the windows with this car. Yeah, that's pretty, dude. It's big and aggressive looking. I like that. Okay. Anyway, uh, Chevy. There's the drag. The truck. Oh, the truck doesn't need a spoiler. There's our old, old Buick. This one we need to swap. Yeah, our bug needs to be out here, for starters. Because this is our go-to race vehicle. Nice. Okay. Now, uh... Let's go ahead and grab... I mean, we are currently doing off-road stuff. So let's go ahead and grab this, and then maybe let's swap out our charger for something else in the warehouse. Isn't our drag car missing? Or, no, our drift car's missing. Yeah. Let's see our drift car. Is there any other car that I would that I actively use? Uh, no. So, yeah, it's our drift car that's missing. There we go. That's better. Now, this car probably could use a spoiler. Visual. Okay. Okay, we actually kind of already have a spoiler, but is it... Okay, it does replace that. Okay. Okay, so you can get it painted, which is kind of a little tempting. I kind of like the big aggressive spoilers on it, to be honest with you. It does kind of add, like, to the... Because to, with, with the splitter at the bottom there, having something like this, like, would really add to its aggressive look. Which I kind of dig. And then I think our front end... Yeah, we already have a splitter on it, which I do like. And we can't do anything with that because I think of our I think because of our bumper. What's with the light roof bar? Oh, you can like put the rusted one back on. Anyway, but yeah, we can't we have to get our cars to 300 before we can put on any other real big toys on it. See, like like a wheelie bar is a great example. Anyway, but yeah, a spoiler looks great on that car. That that, that makes sense. But anyway, now we can get back with this. So now we can go ahead and grab our off-road vehicle. And we can head back out. Alrighty. Pulling up right now. Yeah, after looking at this car, this car, like, even with, with, with our Mustang, it's, like, less classic looking. Like, you know, like, especially after adding our spoilers and stuff. But this one just has that, like, old school, like, like muscle feel that adding a spoiler, like, doesn't add to it very much. So, like, I'm, I feel really good about our decision. Anyway, uh, yeah, no thanks. I don't even care what the money is. We're doing fine financially, and I would rather not rock the boat. Prove to me you're more than a loudmouth on a lucky streak. Sounds like you think I'm just oh yeah. Sounds like. You know, especially with this car, a large part of its looks is with chrome. It's like chrome, a few black accents, and turquoise, and like, yeah. Like, I don't want to go too heavy on, on anything, like anything like black for the accents you know i like having our mostly chrome as our metal color of choice come on amelia speed up excuse me guys yeah we have you kind of have to get aggressive with these guys they're like right you know they're like it's much more aggressive for this team than it is for historically what I've been used to. Get back here, Lizzie. It was like right on, right on her ass, dude. 
taking that. With my big old jacked up Bel Air. So pretty. So classic. I was say it's dark. I can't see it. There's like realistic lighting. I can't tell what I'm driving into. Dead. I was about to say, please reset me. That hurt. That hurt. Hit that wall so hard, dude. Fixing it. Calm down. The game like resets you immediately. They're like, nope, reset. I'm like, I was fixing it. They're like, no, you weren't. Whoop! Not that way. Tunnel curves the other way. Fun fact. Yeah, I'm gonna need to repair my car when this is over, dude. I took some nasty bangs in that one. I took some nasty hits in that one, dude. My card needs to be fixed. I'm all scraped up. Anyway. Level 20, by the way. Uh, I don't know. That one. It's a 9. Uh, yeah, not really. I don't think it's, I don't think it's turbo worth it. Okay. Also, I think we just got a new shipment. It popped up right before I closed it. Still think I'm just the showman? You can race, I'll give you that. But don't expect me to be impressed just because you can catch some air. What is the guy gonna do to impress you around here? He'd probably start with not trying to impress me. My girls haven't had a good brawl in a while. If you can stand scraping some paint up your eyes, try taking them on next. Are you kidding? They are, they're already very aggressive. Wow, look how shiny my car just got. Anyway. Okay, to the next one. Alrighty. We are here. Let's frickin' go. No thanks. No, no, no. Not promising anything for drifting, especially. A track tight enough for a fight. We won't be running the whole crew on this. You wanna prove you're not old show? Show up and get beat up. That was risky. <laughs> Surprisingly sharp. Excuse me. <laughs> Was that paint job new? That stop was probably too hard, but whatever. Safe. 
Bust is feeling great. Boy, we almost almost rolled it again. Why would you let up now? Just like, hypothetically, why would you? Like, oh, I mean, I know we're racing, but I just thought now was a good time to let off. That was close. That I rocked actually, actually helped a little bit, because I'm worried I would have missed that checkpoint. I'm a showman. I'm a showman. Now that's me, man. Bob Showman. That's me. You got me. Alright. What we got? Uh, Jumping NOS. A new gearbox. A little hit on the brakes. Bonuses to everything else. Super worth it, I, would th I think. be there oh wow 255 holy crap i was think i was assuming i uh would be good enough that i could just top on up there but not so not so okay let's go ahead and highlight is, let's see is there any other closer one i don't think so all right then back down the interstate let's go all righty we're here so let's go ahead and Let's say get rid of a lot of this other stuff we can get rid of. Go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything straight increases. That's a tiny hit. That's an increase. What do we got for exhaust? Uh, next tech. A level eight. A level eight. Yeah, that one's just a pure increase though, which is good, obviously. So, I'll take it. Okay, that gets us to two fifty. Two fifty. Uh, big increase to NOS. Marginal hit to that, though. Oh, wow. That one's a pure increase. Yup. Can't turn that down. Alright. Trade in. That gets us 255, which is the level we do need, though. Let's see, this one gives us a bonus to break in that one, and a 0 0.3 though, so it's pretty much a solid increase, pretty much. Wow, this thing's NOS, like, needs to be so much better. Uh, let's see, this would give us a bonus to that, with a tiny hits to 0 to 60 in our quarter mile. That's probably worth it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's worth it. We could use it. There we go. That gets us to 261, which feels pretty good. Nice. Alright, there we go. Now we're good enough. Let's frickin' go. Alrighty. We're here. Let's go. Uh, stay in first for at least a minute. Probably could do it, but no thanks. I'm okay with my, my money, and I don't. it's not a no-brainer, so. If you win this race, maybe I'll take you on. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. You're goddamn right it is. Let's fucking go. Hope you 
are ready for this. Too excited, dude. They're right there. Very lucky it let me keep going. Realistic lighting, dude, is so bad. It's so rough. It's hard to see. Like, when you exit or enter a tunnel, it's like entering the abyss. You don't even know what you're going into. I can't let up now. We tore that yeehaw. up. He says yeehaw now. Yeah, we're rubber we're rubbing off on him. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Every time this lady speaks, all I can think of is Dixie from uh Fallout 4, dude. Every time every time she speaks and you know, I'm, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's Dixie. I mean so here's the thing. We're gonna have to switch, and I'm gonna have to give up my bonus to for for Chidori. And the reason is so simple. First of all, I mean, there is a, there is, I mean, you do take a little bit of a hit on our zero to 60 and our quarter mile. The brakes go up, which is like, which is, you know, the brakes go up a little bit, which is okay. It's fine, I guess. But like the horsepower and the top speed increase, which is good. But look, the level, it gets us to level 269. 69, dude. I can't not equip that. That's like a no brainer. It has to be a thing. It's so obvious. Alright, anyway. I'm ready. You got it. Why you're all the way out here? You're insane. You're crazy. Absolutely mad. You do this because anything else would be boring. There you go, showman. You bet your ass it'd be boring. What's the point of racing if you don't get battle scars? Well, I could think of one or two things that don't you just got on a good side. Okay, you earned it. Final challenge. You at the airfield? I can get there, yeah. Alright, here we go. You like my uh, lime green smoke, dude? Let's freaking go! Wish I could find a place to get my car all clean before I actually challenge it. Actually, I can. This is right at the airfield, dude. Hang on, quick detour. Hang on, lady. Quick detour. I just gotta swing by my garage. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's worth two extra loading screens for no reason. It's so worth it. Actually, while we're right here, though, we might as well do this. We got a, we got a four new shipments, so let's might as well grab that. Air suspension. Extra stance when you turn the engine off. Okay. 
Uh, I, I don't even understand what that means. Part tokens gives you three part tokens, which is great, and then money, which is obviously great. All right, what else we got? More part tokens, money, and a bicycle bell. Okay. Ooh, rainbow dream. Fancy. Part tokens and money. Air suspension. More part tokens and money. Nice. Super worth it. All right. Anyway. That was, worth, that was worth grabbing all that while we were there. But mostly I was just doing it to get my car shiny. So when I challenge this boss, I don't feel I don't feel embarrassed. Oh, we should double check to make sure my level's good enough. I didn't even look. That'll uh, dictate exactly how this how this goes, you know? Okay. Uh, oh, 280, dude. Not even close, though. Not even close. Okay, I gotta get my car better. Anyway. We must improve the car before we can challenge her. Alrighty. We're here. I went straight as an arrow. Just like, no fancy route. I'm just gonna go straight as a dart. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Um, okay, okay, that's actually tempting. That's a tiniest little hit to our quarter mile, but a big increase to NOS. Hit, a little hit on brake power, which is okay. We don't, our brake power doesn't have to be that crazy. So that 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 exhaust is a little tempting. Uh, this is a hit to airtime. Big jump on our on our exhaust though. It's actually a step back on our uh, on our level though. Uh, another step back on our level. Well, I mean, this one's tempting. It's a big jump on our on this one. A little hit to brakes, but that's okay. But that's okay. This would give us 280, funnily enough. Little hit to brakes and then air time and landing. Tiniest increases to the rest of that, though. I mean, there's a, a pretty decent to our top speed, though. It would give us the level we needed, which is kind of the like the, maybe the be best reason to do it. We could kind of use better heads, to be honest with you. We could, yeah, we could kind of use better heads. Our head is only a level nine. Uh, head, give me a better head. Something really good, please. Oop, Chidori, it'll keep our bonus. And it's a level ten. Hell yeah, that's worth it. I would, sir. Nice. All right, our gearbox is another one that is not bad, but maybe a, that one. Let's see. This one is only bonus to nitrous. Maybe our turbo, actually. Turbo. Come on, come on. Carbon acceleration. Ooh, thirteen. Damn! Well, that's worth it. Super worth it. And that's the level we needed. Hell yeah. Nice. Yep, that's what we needed. Alright. Now we can go, Challenger. Let's freaking go. Alright, you guys are ready for this? This, uh, Bel Air is like crazy stupid fast now, in case you're wondering. Our Bel Air is crazy stupid fast now. <laughs> Also, now our highest level car. I, I think it's even higher than our bug now. We're very close to level uh, level 300 on those cars. Ready to take me? Make it to the observatory before sunrise. I'll be there. Go hog wild. I'm starting from the same distance on the other side of the mountain. You better not waste my time. Whoa, there was like no like like wind up or anything. They're just like, oh hey, you better do this before you before uh, time runs up. Uh, there, was, there was no warning or anything, dude. There was no uh, timer or nothing. See how fast this car is, though? That has some serious pull, brother. Very fast. I think our bug has a higher top speed. But considering this is an off-road vehicle, that's pretty it's pretty incredible. Ignore that. He 
was but a he was but a speed bump on on the road to victory. He doesn't matter. Quickly now. disappoint the lady. She sounds way too adorable to disappoint. I can't help but think of her as Dixie. We can't disappoint Dixie. I loved her. of my face. No one panic. I'm so itchy I could die, but we can't. I can't. Not now. We don't have that kind of time. I was... Oh, climb it, baby. Oh my gosh, that was close. We're good? Fish tailing, climb the mountain. Boy, that was scary. Oh my gosh, dude, we're so close. Boy, that was scary. My god. 162. That's darn near top speed for this car, so... No thanks. Boy, that was scary. Great view, huh? Now the real fun. Race to the canyons. One-on-one. -on -one, you and me. Get ready to lose to this flashy show, man. Gonna crush this. Yeah, see you at the bottom there, Faith. Racing at sunrise, though, I feel like that feels I pretty cool. I forgot to mention, keep a lookout near the canyon. Got two of my favorite jumps there. Well, one of my favorite jumps. The other, let's just say, I haven't had a car surviving yet. Oh, that's neat. That sounds really neat, can't we? expensive way to race. Trashing your car every time you race. <laughs> I'm already thinking about the next race.
right there. Can you clean my rear window? Lock it up, dude. That corner was real sharp. in the universe would survive this. Wow. Yeah, no car in the world would survive that. Ow. My car felt it, though. It's in pain. I'm alive. No way, dude. That's a freaking cliff. You'd need a freaking hand glider to survive that fall. <laughs> no way. Not in a car. I, I could not believe it. 13. Uh, well. Uh, well. Marginal increases to all the speed stuff. A little bit of a hit on the airtime and landing, and a tiny bit of the hit on the, uh, and a little bit of hit on brakes, too. Kind of value all the top four stats, though, to be honest, even more, so I think it's worth it. Yay! Take that. League defeated. Ooh, Corvette, though. Pretty. And a Porsche. Shrug. Another Porsche. Still shrug. Ow, my poor car. Woo, yeah, that was a hell of a race. I feel alive. I feel unstoppable. This is off-roading. That's the spirit. That's what I like to see. You guys are really gonna pull this off, aren't you? We really are. Well, good luck then. We'll be watching. Maybe even pulling a few stunts ourselves. Happy driving, showman. And remember, if you're not gripping your wheel for dear life, then you're not racing. Amen. Hell yeah. You running with the militia sisters these days, fresh meat? You're crazier than I thought. Udo, <laughs> what's up? I've been watching you and your crew. You're really gunning for the house, aren't you? It's gonna be huge, Udo. They're not gonna know what hit them. Yeah. Hey, if you're ever in trouble, League 73's got your back. Hell yeah. We're gaining allies, man. Oh wow, he actually like turns around when he's backing up. That's cool. Like, you know, he, him inside. That's interesting. I'm surprised. That's a very finite detail. Anyway, what time is it? Okay, perfect. I think well, time-wise, we're just about there, too. So, that's a good stopping place. I could go, like, one more race, though. But we'll need to upgrade, so maybe that's what we'll do. Because the next league we have is a drift car. Next, The next league we got is our drift car. So, so that's a thing. Yeah, 289 on our Chevy Bel Air, dude. Also, it's getting restored. There we go. Look how pretty it is. Anyway, yeah, our drift car is something else that needs love. Our runner will need help. Our runner is going to need help, too, our truck, before we can do that mission down south. Which, really, maybe that's would be what we should do next. Partially just so I can get around having to, uh... <laughs> Partially just so I can get away with not having to do drifting for as long as I can. Okay, uh, I would be shocked if I put a spoiler on it. Is that even an option? Okay, it is an option. Yeah. The black... Uh, yeah, just no way, dude. No, no, no. Nice. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't really want anything on this. Although the exhaust is a little... Is temp, yeah. We need exhaust on this, for sure. 
kind of like these ones. There we go. Yeah, those are pretty. The rear bumper we've already chosen. There's a diffuser and stuff, but I don't think this thing needs a diffuser. I don't think this truck needs a wheelie bar either. Okay. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Let's go ahead and let's see about upgrades for our truck. And then maybe we'll... Uh, I don't, I don't know if we'll actually do the first one, but at least let's, let's at least get the truck upgraded. And then we can that way I can put off doing the drift stuff for as long as humanly possible. Because uh, obviously, for those who know me, you know I'm not a fan of drifting. I need, I need, I need. Uh, well, there's the tune-up shop up north, but at this point, I think it'd be smarter to uh, set a checkpoint for this one and then teleport down here. I think that's what we will do. Yeah, when Mac was like driving with like what was his name? Hash Tiger. <laughs> it was like so stupid, dude. <laughs> and he was with that stupid punk and he's all barfing his guts out. And Mac's like, hey man, give me a job so I can do literally anything else. Alright, let's get the, let's get this truck upgraded, shall we? And then we can yeah, then we can meet the broker. Which will uh, feel pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it'll be nice not to not to be doing drift stuff. I'm not a crazy fan of the off-road stuff either. Like, it's okay, but... Yeah, I'll be, uh... I'm happy I'm not doing that either. Alright. So, I think this is all stock. Yes, it is. Godspeed, racers. This is your friendly neighborhood curator. With a reminder that not all races are fought on the pavement. Case in point... Mac has taken out Faith Jones and the girls of Free Ember Militia. An epic battle of dirt and grit, but a fight on Mary Mac 1 with a trademark grin on his face. Will we see that attitude in the Outlaws Rush? Why not? He's gotten his crew one step closer. Takes a big man to keep up with the Militia, Mac. Nice work. Oh, hell yeah. The things Mac will do to me, girls. Hell yeah, dude. The wife who complimented me. And I don't care if, and I don't care if Jess was talking smack. I don't care. Because, uh, the curator's taking notice, and that's what matters. Anything we can do to make her happy is super worth it. Alright, uh, ECU. ECU, ECU. Next tech? Acceleration. Lots of sevens. I mean, it's all better, so it's fine, but, like, I am noticing. Uh, turbo. Americana. Nitrous. Nice. It's an eight, which is good. Yeah, well, our truck's getting faster and faster. Exhaust. Uh, Americana, brakes. Yeah, brakes, acceleration, and speed, though. Okay, and then gearbox. At least that way all of our bases will be covered in general. Then we can worry about uh, changing anything out a little more specifically. Top speed, that's a good one. Okay, kind of, we could use it. Plus an increase toward that. Plus we get a bonuses to uh, the next deck, too, which is great. All right. So now let's go ahead and get and sell these uh, all this old stock stuff because you can't exchange stock stuff for uh, part tokens because you know that would make too much sense. So instead they'll give us a piddly amount of money for it, which I I guess is quote unquote better. So we need a new block. The block's not great. The bonus to next deck is not bad. Giving us a top a bonus to horsepower, like top speed, is is pretty cool, and horsepower, but and but brakes is not amazing. Only seven still. Yeah, this will void that bonus, but it's actually good enough that we we actually lose nothing anyway, so it's fine. No, not that one. There we go, that one. Okay, uh, ECU is the next one. Outlaw. Oh, nope. Carbon. Carbon brakes. That's not great. Yeah. 
Bonuses to the bottom four, but I don't value those very much. Losses to Nos, which is not great. We oh actually we would get a, a bonus to Carbon though. But still, the loss to Nos is not great. Yeah, no thanks. No, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, the ECU. I think we'll try for another ECU with my last roll. Carbon, nitrous, level nine. Wow, nothing but increases. Super worth it. That does give us a bonus to carbon as, as well. Nice. Well, that's worth it. That gets our truck to 230, too. Maybe, maybe we will do the first one. All right. Uh, we only have to be 209, so we're good enough for it. Let's do the first one, and then that'll be a good place to call this episode after we do it. All righty. We are here. Are you ready for this? Let's freaking do it. My god, my truck is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Oh, there it is. Miller, got a job for you. Not until you give me something I can use. I'm after the house's boss, the collector. He's bringing in more tech like they had on the Koenigsegg. I'm listening. You made Navarro's list. It's your chance to go undercover and find what you're looking for. Just keep your eyes peeled and your mouth shut. Congratulations, Miller. You work for the house now. Oh, boy. Ah, okay. And then that's what... Ooh, that's what this is, right? Uh, yeah. That's fine, we can make that work. Doesn't it make sense to cut through these little, little these little roads? All right, looks like it is whoa right up here. Yeah, this truck's a lot faster than it was. I tell you that. I tell you what, it's also freaking gorgeous. It's also freaking beautiful. All right, let's do it. Undercover work. Uh, stay in the oncoming lane for 15 seconds. Yeah, that sounds pretty easy. That sounds pretty easy. So pretty, dude. You're today's payroll driver? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Navarro said you didn't talk much. <laughs> Here's the payoffs and locations. I don't think you can run away with the money. I'm tracking you by GPS. Where's the trust these days? Like his car, though. Wow, it like started me like in the, in the wall. You got the payout? Yep, on my way. Good. Keep your eyes peeled and make it quick. All right. Jess. Hey, where are you at on that house, Jack? Working on it. We gotta hurry. The house is moving fast. These things take time. You're going to have to trust me here, Ty. Let's see. I do, Jeff. It's the house I don't trust. Yay! Alright. I got what I needed for that. Yet. Bribe delivery. Keep your voice down! <laughs> She just says it. Bribe delivery. First stop down. All right. Miller. How you doing? Since you're asking, I could kill for a burger right now. With the payout. Dropped off a load of money to a mechanic looking guy. Hmm. That'd be Silver Rock's top black market that engineer. Was he specializes in bleeding edge parts years ahead of anything street legal. Whatever tech they're bringing in, the house racers are sure to have it soon. The donations for the orphanage in South Sudan are here, sir. You have quite the mouth on you. What's your name? My parents forgot to give me one. <laughs> He's like, he's like, hey, I don't like your attitude. Not bad so far. Uh, 
That was Mitko Basilov, high-ranking dignitary by day, street racer by night. What's a foreign official doing taking bribes from the house? He runs a drag racing league called the Diamond Block. Those were kickbacks for rigging races. That's what you're after? Basilov the student. I'm after his boss, the collector. It's so funny, it's so funny the collector's like, how you doing? And then Jess is like, oh, I could really go for it. Well, since you're asking, I could really go for a burger. He's like, with the payouts. It's just like, I don't care about how your personal needs. Got a, kind of a cheesy line, but it still made me laugh, so I'll give it credit. That, that, that did make me laugh. Copycat, look at this guy's truck. <laughs> I'm here to bribe some rich asshole, that you? Where's the money, girl? Don't girl me, asshole. <laughs> you think I'm impressed because your truck's taller than mine? Even though you've, like, ha sort of pseudo-copied my color scheme? You're not cool, bro. Not impressed. We might as well go to this one, then. Good so far. Who is that fine gentleman? I see you met Holtzman. He's a contractor on the Collector's Big Tower and the boss of an off-road racing league called... Hazard Company. Charming. At least now you know what your crew is up against. Having second thoughts? Hell no. That's what I like to hear. Hello, officer! <laughs> Good day, Officer Bradley. Lose the smart mouth lady. Where's the money for the customs agent? Here, have some donuts on the house. Da, get it? It's a cop joke. Keep this up, Jess. We're almost done. We've got plenty of time. Morgan. It's Jess. I've got an update on the house. That tech they're bringing in, it has to clear customs. Which means, they're flying it in. How sure are you? I just bribed a cop. Okay. <laughs> Tyler's like, I need to know, man. I guess I don't need to know. Don't ask questions, Tyler. And up! Wheels. Ew. You're talking. A little gratitude would be nice. Get out of my face. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice wheels for a bitch. And that's the last of them. As I pull up in my drifting truck. My super sexy truck. Not impressed. Also, fat, fat extra income for that one, dude. We made now we make we cleared 30 grand for that one. Thirty-three thousand dollars for that mission. So easy. This truck is gorgeous, by the way. It's lovely. Oh, 10. That's really good. Acceleration. Is it better? Uh, yes. Yes. A little bit. We'd be trading an Americana bonus for a, Ch a Chidori bonus, or a Carbon bonus. We lose one on the, on the top speed, which is not great, but we do, and we lose, what is that? A tiny, tiny hair from our NOS, but we do gain a kind of a jump for our 0 to 60, our quarter mile, and our horsepower. So I'd say it's worth it. Nice. Freaking nice. Nice. Yeah, so this will be what we focus on. From now on. You're impressing the right people, lady. Yeah, I got more work if you're interested. How's the getaway sound? Right up my alley. That's what I like to hear. Sending you the place. Oh, sounds good, bro. Uh, what, what level do we need to be for this? Oh, beautiful. All right, back to the back to that garage. We'll put this truck in the garage, open our base shipment, and we'll see if there's any vanity items we can equip on this truck, like fancy, you know, tire, tire smoke or something. All right, so, uh, vanity items first. Well, shipment first. What do we got? ED and orange wave. Oh, red, not ED. <laughs> red and orange wave, and then 20 grand, plus more part tokens. I will take all of those. Thank you. Nice. Okay, now, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. So we have nothing equipped on the nitrous. Do we have anything that fits? Boy, we sure don't. What about tire smoke? Also, no. 
Okay, what about Underglow? No, we actually already have Underglow that fits. It's fine. Uh, preview. Okay. I don't know what these what this does, you know? But sure, air suspension. I don't know what that does at all, but whatever. Whatever. What does this do? Stance tuning. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh my gosh, height. Dude, I can raise it or drop it on the floor. That's freaking sexy. I kind of want to make it high. It's a truck, dude. Make it tall. Well, that's cool. Well, that's neat. Alright. Well, that's cool. I did performance customization. Oh, is that just like my... That looks just like my regular equipped cards is what that looks like. Anyway. Well, that's cool. You can drop it. You can also, like, turn the edges off. Like, make your wheels all crooked, which seems to be common for, like, drifting vehicles or off-road vehicles, but I'm not interested in that, but... Making the truck roll tall makes sense. I mean, it's a truck. It's a truck. It makes so much sense. Well, that's neat. There's some fast cars. Yeah, level-wise, our uh, Bel Air is our most jacked vehicle. So that's pretty cool. But regardless, though, that'll be a great place to call it. And uh, when we come back, we'll be uh, continuing with Jess's missions. We'll be going after uh, doing more undercover work. And uh, yeah, that'll be what's that'll be what's coming up. We'll be leveling up our Chevy more, our you know our C our C10 more. That would not at all surprise me. But uh, yeah, there'll be more of that coming, and then we'll probably end up doing the Drift League next time as well. Uh, it also wouldn't be a terrible idea to continue doing this, the Supercross or the, or the Speed Cross events. Uh, I would would like to get all those done because there's a fat achievement waiting for us at the end of it if we do them all. And so I'm very tempted to do that one all the way through. Uh, and so that will probably be something that we do is uh, is making sure we do that, uh, get all the Speed Cross stuff done. So uh, at some point. At some episode, we might end up just doing like nothing but speed cross just to try and catch up. Because if I'm if I'm a little worried that our main story is gonna end before we do all the speed cross, then we'll probably like you know target doing that just to make sure we do get it done. But we will see. So tomorrow is Friday, and uh, it's surprisingly it's actually my Friday. I do have Saturday off this week, surprisingly, and so uh, I am fully planning on recording tomorrow. Uh, should be part, the next part of our If My Heart Had Wings playthrough, that might be part 14, and then it should be the next part of this, which I think might be part 7, possibly, so those will be coming tomorrow, as far as I know, uh, at this time anyway, uh, then there might be stuff on Saturday, there might not be, we'll see, uh, Sunday is obviously a no-go for recording, and then Monday might be a little bit weird, because I have some errand stuff to take care of, but I'm, I am hoping to record on Monday, uh, but, you know, we'll just otherwise see. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.